Hey, I've been thinking about <clears throat> habits. What we, you know, like what we call habits. Things that we do religiously on a regular basis that are habitual, <laughs> you know, that we do habitually. Some would be good habits. Some of them would be good habits, right? Uh, I feel like I have a lot of good habits, and I also have some habits that are a little bit more, a little bit more challenging to deal with. <clears throat> and so we kind of jump on this. I'm gonna quit this habit. I'm gonna quit smoking. I'm gonna quit drinking, or I'm gonna quit doing that habit, right? Yeah. And then maybe we fail because truly whatever it is that we're in the habit of doing religiously, we kind of like doing it or we wouldn't be in the habit of it, right? So I'm, I'm thinking about habitual behavior in fasting because a couple of times I've been able to fast off of things for a period of time and and it was it was like then I had a choice whether I really wanted to do it or not you know so so I've been thinking of fasting well okay in uh, in Shabambu you start to realize that you religiously begin to acquire the habit of practicing because usually we're in the habit of flesh in that flesh it flesh it flesh it right toxic <laughs> so you have to train your body to be in the different uh, habit of thinking something differently when you have to go to the bathroom uh, so well there are rules with Shabambu too you know, so I've gone good periods without doing some of the rules, with doing some of the rules, and without doing some of the rules. And one of them is alcohol, and there's a pretty good reason for that rule. But if you, you know, if you want to have a drink and you still practice all the way through and drink your pee, you won't really feel any ill effects from the alcohol at all. Um, if you drink quite a bit, you can do the same thing and you won't have a hangover, but, um, you can tell it's not good. And that's the thing about practicing it, is that you really can tell that it, when something is good and when you don't want to. Anyway, I'm getting off track a little. Um, about the rules. Um, so, you know, they say don't smoke tobacco if you practice and don't uh, take mind-altering anything. So, uh, I'm pretty good about that. I don't take any over-the-counter drugs, any pills of any kind. I haven't taken for years now. Um, but, you know, I do smoke WWD. <laughs> so, yeah, and and that's mind altering and it does take care of a lot of things and so I'm thinking about the pain in my body and if I'm treating that pain what would happen if I did fast off a couple of those habits my my smoking habits just to see if I might feel better you know and there's the fears the fears that you know that that herb is actually doing me a lot of good in a lot of ways that I'm not aware of and and so I wouldn't mind jumping on that boat just to see how much what kind of pain levels I've got going on personally and I could tell you about it and we could watch it but thinking about habits and fasting just for seven days what would be so hard for seven days just changing the habit trying to, like I did with the urine fast, seven, ten days, you know, it was, I think, eight or nine, I can't remember, something like that, and, um, 
anyway, I just would really um, kind of like to look at habits differently. Maybe just fasting off them for a while so that it gives us a chance to look internally and see what kind of things, why we're doing it, why we might not want to do it. And maybe we feel better. Or maybe we feel worse. Just to look at it for a week. Hmm. Just a thought.